And welcome back to Hannity. Earlier, the Senate voted to advance the border surge amendment to the comprehensive immigration bill. Now, as we explained earlier in the program, the language of the amendment was dumped on Senate lawmakers on Friday, leaving them barely any time to analyze this. Joining me now, she has no reaction to it whatsoever. <laughs> the always outspoken pro-immigration Ann Coulter. All right, I'm kidding. You, you, you have said you've become a single issue person over this issue. Why? It, it will change the America we live in. It will harm um, low-wage workers the most, the people on the bottom rungs. I think Republicans are the only ones who have ever cared about this. I mean, I've always heard liberals tell us, oh, Republicans uh, don't care about poor and black people. And I never believed it until I saw Marco Rubio's amnesty bill. It is the low-wage workers who are suffering horrible unemployment who suffer the most. It will change the country. Um, in ways that are damaging and will change the culture. Uh, and why do the Democrats want it? They want it for one reason, because it, because it will be 30 million new voters, 80 percent of whom, as all polls show, are going to vote for the Democrats. They do not care about these people. They don't care about them as illegals. They don't care about them once they become citizens. They just want the votes. OK, so this bill is going to pass. Then it's going to the go. Senate. It's going to pass in the Senate. Then it's going to go to the House. The House I think rightly so, only wants a border security bill. Right, right. But we have to be very careful, as I said before in your program, but it's so important. I'm going to say it again. Right now, um, people who don't want amnesty have to call the House and say they don't want any immigration bill until we have a Republican Senate. Because if they pass a bill that is nothing but enforce, verify, enforce the fence, it will go into conference with the Senate, it will come out an amnesty bill. And if it's voted on now, it could well pass both the House and the Senate. We don't want to vote at all on a fence. And by the way, it's not going to be enforced by this administration anyway we need we need a republican a republican senate and this this amendment today you were talking about with senator cruz um my friend mickey cow summarized it brilliantly i think um by saying it's it's like you know a wo someone a woman saying to her husband um oh we have another email from that nigerian prince and i know he's a con man but this time he's offering us 20 million dollars and it was only 10 million last time it's all a con as you were saying None of this will be enforced. It never has been enforced. Um, there are waivers and outs, and it's all come up with a plan, and there must be some form of implementation. None of this will be enforced. It's legalization. It is amnesty first because the plutocrats in the Republican Party want cheap labor. There is a lot of fear among conservatives that if the House passes a border security bill, the Senate and House bill go to conference, out of conference comes a bill more closely aligned with the Senate oh, version. Yes. Dana Rohrabacher said that Speaker Boehner would be over if he didn't enforce the Haster rule in that case. Um, and the Hastert rule is he won't bring um, a bill to a vote unless a majority of Republicans support it. Uh, I think we're safer just not having the House vote on a bill right now. Just wait until we have a Republican Senate. What have is to the do point? It. Yeah, I mean, it's like these endless repeals of Obamacare. I mean, God bless them, but we get the point. You want to repeal Obamacare. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing will happen with a fence bill in the House. Nothing will happen with a vote on to enforce E-Verify, which, by the way, is a one-page simple bill. They could, they could do that right away if they were serious about enforcing the border but i don't trust and perhaps i'm wrong i hope he will prove me wrong i think john boehner secretly wants amnesty and he wants a fig leaf to make it look like oh no we just voted on the fence no a vote on the fence in the house is a vote for amnesty what do you think of the 15 senate republicans who voted for the bill well we were just quickly getting their names as we were i going have them i have them right here are. um um the ones, I, I, I mean, I, I will certainly contribute to anyone who primaries any of them. Um, any of them? That means, well, Hatch just ran, but look, in the case of, I guess, if he uh, runs Lindsey again, Graham. And they better hope they don't get in any scandals, like having their sons, you know, send out uh, vulgar, aggressive tweets and call themselves things like N-word killer online, because I don't think they're going to have a lot of conservatives defending them now. So they better be purer than Caesar's wife. I, I, let me go back to this issue. This, That's this, Jeff Flake, by the way. I know who you're talking about. But the viewers may not. Okay. And uh, he voted in favor of amnesty today. But Well, there's actually a movement to recall McCain and Flake in Arizona going on right now. But back back to the issue, I, I never could get myself to be a single issue anything on any issue. And I know a lot of people are on the pro-life. This is really single issue for you? Yes, this this we lose everything with this, as I think we've discussed on this program, but I, I get confused. Um, 
contrary to what these, you know, oh so sensitive and multicultural pro amnesty Republicans think, Hispanics are different from black voters. Black voters are um, conservative culturally. They are against abortion. They are against gay marriage. They do Hispanics? believe in the I mean, family. A lot Hispanics, of Catholics. Go ahead. Everyone thinks that, but they're a little bit more like the Teddy Kennedy kind of Catholic. In all of these Pew polls, um, Hispanics are the one group more than any other that opposes capitalism. They are heavily pro-choice, contrary to, to, to the image. Um, but the main point is, and again, the only reason the Democrats want it is because every poll shows they vote about 80 percent for the Democrats. Let me ask you one last question. I, for national security reasons, I yes. want the border secure. Yes. We're not going to get that to happen yes, if the and, House doesn't act. And for, for to avoid terrorist acts in America, That's we what also have to do something about legal immigration. The Zarnev brothers, the Somalis out in, in Minnesota, the New Jersey man, or Jersey City man who, who planned to blow up Fort Dix. I mean, as I said in my column last week, something has gone awry when we're f referring to American citizen Anwar Alawaki. <laughs> no, wait a second. When you say American citizen, we all have something different in our minds. Um, but, but it's both legal and illegal immigration. But if this goes through, it's really over because you have at least 11 million illegal immigrants now. I mean, just assuming that they're right about that, it could be 20 million. And then through our legal immigration system, they're allowed to bring in brothers-in-law, cousins, third cousins. Cousins, and that will very quickly um, mushroom to 30, 40 million, um, well, Hispanic voters and Democratic voters. Well, there's a lot of stuff in this bill, as we pointed out in the last segment, that a lot of people didn't see. All right, Ann Coulter, good to see you. Good Thank to you. see you. All right, come